Over the past eight months, we've been following the budget problems faced by the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. A few weeks ago, we had Stevens Point Provost Greg Summers on to talk about why they need to cut six majors and lay off faculty to balance an $8 million deficit. Here's what he had to say to Frederica Freiburg. We've talked before, Frederica, about the fact that we have a budget deficit, and, and certainly the proposal that we circulated to campus this week was meant to address that, at least in part. But it's also the case that we're thinking about a lot more than just budget. What this is really about is trying to respond to the changing education need that we're seeing in, in Wisconsin. We know that students are really cost sensitive these days, and so they're focused, uh, sort of laser focused on the career pathways that uh, their degree choice can open up. And so our restructuring that we're proposing, reorganizing our academic colleges and focusing our curriculum is really meant to highlight those career paths. This week, faculty at UW-Stevens Point sent a letter to the UW Board of Regents calling for the dismissal of Stevens Point Chancellor Bernie Patterson and Provost Greg Summers, who we just heard from. Mick Viam, a physics professor, signed the letter, and he joins us now from Stevens Point. Mick, thanks for your time today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So why are you asking for the chancellor and the provost to go? Um, I'm, what I'm asking is for the Board of Regents to read that letter very seriously. Uh, the, the concerns that are raised in that are, are real. There is nothing that is hyperbolic. There is nothing that's exaggerated. There's nothing that's non-factual in there. And what I'm asking for is accountability. I've been involved in a lot of this process. And when I read that letter, I have, had nothing to do with writing it. And I'm not saying that to absolve myself of any responsibility. But when I read that letter, I knew from it that I owed it to the people of Wisconsin to make sure that this part of the story is heard uh, and that the budget hole that we are in is actually our own doing. Yeah, can you give us a nutshell of what's in that letter just so the people at home understand what your allegations are? Yeah, well, the, the major part of it, uh, the biggest part and what really compelled me to sign the letter is the fact that when we knew that our enrollments were going to be dropping, we were hiring tenure track faculty members. So we were making a promise. We were bringing faculty members in when we knew that we wouldn't have the enrollments. We would not have the revenue to pay the salaries associated with that. And that's not good management. And we, we did that. And, and, we, and that part of the story, you can't find that in the, in the Point Forward document. And that was a mistake that we made. And we need to be held accountable for that. Um, uh, you know, there are other parts of it uh, associated with, uh, there were some accounting problems. Uh, those have been rectified. Uh, there was an issue in student affairs with an associate dean um, who was sexually harassing people. Um, and so there, is, the, the, so there is a variety of things in addition to these financial issues. And so with Point Forward, what we gotta do is we, we gotta not pretend that we didn't dig this hole for ourselves. We did. And now, in a statement, Chancellor Bernie Patterson says uh, the letter, quote, represents a small percentage of faculty and staff. Does your movement represent more than a vocal minority? Um, that, that, that would be a difficult thing to say. It definitely represents a large contingent. I spend all day, every day on the campus, in the trenches with people. And by and large, the people that I am with are supportive of this and they and they're sympathetic they don't they don't necessarily agree with everything that's in the letter they don't necessarily agree with uh, the approach uh, but they don't disagree with the conclusions of the letter in terms of uh, you know of the financial problems that we've had and it is a substantial group of people and so I you know I, I think I, I don't think Bernie uh, should be calling this a fringe group who's on the outside of the university this, this is the rank and file of the university who feel this way. And it's not just faculty, it's not just staff, it's students too. Now, if the Board of Regents declines to do anything and the Chancellor and the Provost stay on, what kind of relationship will you have with them as these cuts are implemented in the future? Uh, that's a really good question. And uh, as I mentioned in the, in the press conference yesterday, this is a really painful thing for me to do. I have known Greg for about 17 years. We have worked together in a lot of different situations. I've known Bernie for almost 10 years, and we have worked through good times and bad times and uh, with ups and downs. And the last thing I wanted to be doing yesterday was standing in front of a group of reporters 
and having to say very unpleasant things about people who are my colleagues, but people who, with whom I have, my children have played with Greg's children. Uh, we have socialized and, and we have worked together on very difficult things. And so I don't know. Um, I like to think that we can keep the, the business of the university separate from the personal part of it. It's definitely going to put a strain on it. But at the end of the day, you know, Zach, I'm a, I'm a public servant. And at the end of the day, my loyalty isn't to any particular person at the university, and it's not to any particular program at the university. My loyalty is to the people of Wisconsin. And the people of Wisconsin weren't getting the straight story. They weren't getting all of the information that I think they deserve to know. This university belongs to everybody. It doesn't, it's not mine, it's not Bernie's, it's not Greg's. It's everybody's. And quickly, we don't have a whole lot of time left, but at the root of the deficit is a declining enrollment. How will this situation help parents and high schoolers decide Stevens Point is the place for them in the future? Because we are, we're, we're going to, we're going to fix this. And it is, it's going to be a multi-pronged approach. And one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to, we're, I'm going to, conv I, I stand up in front of them, convince them that the faculty members care. We want to provide the best education possible. And even if it puts us in a bad position personally, I'm taking a big risk here right now. But okay. I want the parents to know. Sorry, we're, we're, uh, we're out of I'm, time. I'm here, I, am here for, I am here for their students. Sorry, Zach. All right. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Zach.